All right, so we're back to Life is Strange, uh, episode two. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's sort this out and see what's what. Glad to be back playing the games, get some game done. Damn, that smell of breakfast Hopefully. and the sound of clanging silverware Ugh, makes me feel 13 again. Hopefully, I've sorted the um, issues as well. Run and they grab a booth at the diner, mum would be reaching. Somebody better, I'd be lucky <laughs> if you make my knee. Ah, there's me. Sit down. Sweet. Ah, oh, sweet. I get coffee. Coffee, coffee, and there coffee. She is. Gotta love coffee. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still <laughs> smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. <laughs> you moved forward with your life. Yeah, I, I know, but I left William my friends on. alone. Chloe? You move forward too Chloe quick. Chloe chose to stay angry. Me. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Um. I did, and I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. No, he don't. Uh, uh, I'll get it. I'll keep. I I'll keep it, her Joyce. sweet. That's my friend's mom. I know Chloe mom. still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does mm -hmm. provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I yeah, guess it's all about time. I think yes. you're right, Joyce. Not so now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Um, bacon omelet. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. <laughs> now finish your coffee. One bacon omelet for the young lady, Sap. Bacon is 12 o'clock hot. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. It's pretty cool, though.
The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. No beer? <laughs> <laughs> looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. That does look pretty cool. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Right, you're saying exactly the same thing again. I'm drooling like a baby. <laughs> Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, uh <laughs> speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. <laughs> and Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh, God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't <laughs> want to be lectured. Sergeant Pepper. Slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Change it. Go on. Go on. What are you going to put on? Now that that's out of the way. Let's that's talk it. about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pocket. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Uh, keys. Your car keys. Yeah, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A bullet, just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pocket. That was Seven beyond years. epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. This is me telling you what's inside your pocket. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Keys. Your car keys. Yeah, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Um. It's a skull. Uh, oh, skull it was a teddy bear. For a punk like you. That was so. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pocket. Right, look. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Right, teddy bear. Cigarettes. Four, two, four, six. Six cents. Four daughters to a dollar. Six cents, I say. Warning ticket. Right. Right, now let's do this. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Oops, you got cigarettes? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, fuck. Seven. Seven cigarettes. 
a superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Yep. A uh, parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Oh, fuck. Can you do that? 6.42 a.m. I don't even think about getting up that early. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Right, shit. I should have paid more attention to that. Fuck, 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 fuck. Right. That was beyond epic. Yeah, I see that. Then we should have a look okay, again. Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Black and white heart. There. Uh, two, four, two, four, six, seven. Um, one dollar six cent ten thirty four. This okay, Max. I'm hella ready. A parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Aha, uh -huh. 10.34. 10.34 a.m. Booyah, Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. What does the hell that mean? <laughs> right, keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, pixel art chain. Panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Um, money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? I'm gonna say that. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how right, many cigarettes? Right, right. Come on, come on. Oh yeah. Seven cigarettes. I can reverse time. Bitch. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Oh, don't tell me. You're fucking joking me. Only. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. <laughs> you have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where's my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Mm. 
The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Uh... The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he answers it. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Uh, Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce beats them. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. Oops. Did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think don't not, slap Max. Me, bitch. Take your. I'm going to predict. Um. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Um. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. <laughs> Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce beats them. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. Oh, I didn't wait long enough, obviously. Oops. Dude, Did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. You are really whiffing this. Sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Daisy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? 